everyone, I'm Martin and welcome to another great edition for Astronomy for Beginners. Now, if you've been following up the latest uh, project I've been doing on the Skywatcher NEQ6 Supertune, so I decided to venture on with a different series but supertuning the EQ5 mount. Now the EQ5 mount is actually a really good mount. It's a very capable mount, it's, it's, it's a good beginner to intermediate astrophotographer mount and I've been getting some awesome views out of this mount as well. Despite a few flaws of its setting circles not being great, it's still a pretty good mount. Even though it's only capable of holding 9 kilograms maximum weight, Combine it with this 80mm ED refractor that I've got here with a guide scope. This actually is a very capable imaging setup. And this mount has proven itself time after time. Through many years of enjoyment I've had through it. And I've been getting some awesome images from this mount. Really good budget mount. However, it does have a few flaws. But, considering I've got all the equipment that I need, I looked into this and I thought to myself, well, if the weather's still bad and I'm still waiting on a good clear skies, I thought it'd be a good idea to start super tuning up the EQ5 mount. Now this, this is only just covers for this mount only. It doesn't come cover for any other mounts. It doesn't cover the EQ3 too. Or the HEQ5 mounts I'm afraid so my apologies for you guys and girls that own those mounts this is just purely for the EQ5 owners I'm afraid so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to super tune this mount get it to perform as it should like the NEQ6 at the moment what I've just done that is now super smooth so now what we're going to do is we're going to take a closer look at the problems I've got with this mount so, the first problem I've got with this mount is this. Now, as you can see, this is balanced. You know, the counterweight's balanced and telescope's all balanced. And it, it does feel smooth, but look at it. In the RE axis, it's, it's not, it's okay, but it's not brilliant. There's a lot of binding. So, Pushing that, there's a lot of friction there, and there seems to be a lot of binding in the bearings. So that's the first problem I've got. The second problem is probably the worst one of all, is this. Don't forget, the clutches have been released. That is, it's far too tight. I mean the idea is to release the clutch and move it freely. It's I've never seen anything that tight on this mount before. And um, it's not ideal to honest with you. So again the declination axis needs definitely needs sorting out. And obviously over time this has got worse as well. Now I haven't stripped this mount for a good three or four years now and yeah I think it needs a bit of TLC this mount now at the moment using the SynScan app alright connected to my Skywatcher Wi-Fi if you are not seen that video click up at the top the link is at the top to that Wi-Fi adapter I'm going to show you this problem now at the moment I'm going to operate the electric motors Okay, electric motors are not quite noisy compared to the NEQ6. In fact, they're actually pretty good. So the motors are pretty good. There's no, no excessive noise, there's no binding. So the, the motors are really good. However, if you take notice of this part, I'm going to release the clutch. 
That clutch is off, right? So this is free to rotate. Now check this out. This shouldn't be happening, surely not. So as you can see there, that clutch is released, that should not be driving. So that's the other problem I've got. You see the whole idea is that, is to release that clutch so that you can free rotate it and there should be no drive. Unfortunately, I've got permanent drive all the way through, even with the clutches being released. So that's the other problem I've got. So, even though the motors are absolutely running perfect, with no excessive noise or vibration, you know, it does feel responsive. This, however, is a problem, and it should not happen. So this is reasons why I'm doing this super tune. Want to not just refer the, the mount, but also to find out what is going on with this mount. So these are the parts you're going to need to carry out your EQ5 Super Tune. So first off you're going to require is these. Now these are very similar to the NEQ6 mount. And these are the little worm drive bearings that are usually attached onto the spindle. So these are the worm drive spindle bearings. These are slightly smaller than the NEQ6 and this size is 686LLU. So you need four of those. I did try to get some SKF ones but they end up being a lot more expensive. But I got these ones because these are the ones you can actually remove the you can actually remove the rubber seal. Now the SKF ones are, are all metal and the metal ones are not very easy to take off. So I've got these ones which are high quality deep groove bearings. Alright, they cost about three or four pounds each for each of them. So you need four of those. The other part you need is this. This is another deep groove bearing, but this is done by SKF, and this is the size 6007-2RS. You're going to need one of those. And the last of the bearings is this, is the another SKF brand, but this time this is a slightly different bearing. This is the 51107. And this is actually a thrust bearing. All right, so there's there's like a, a ball bearing, thrust ball bearing, with two separate plates. Okay, so you're going to require one of those. All the bearings are listed below. All right, if you want to check out the parts, the descriptions are below for the sizes of the bearings you need. I've measured the bearings on my existing mount and I've checked these sizes. So if you do want to super tune your EQ mount, uh, EQ5 mount, please go ahead, order the bearings because now I know these fit. And now the last part for the EQ5 is this. I mentioned this before in my last video guide on the NEQ6 and this is the HM5 Polar Scope. Now I'm not going to go into too much detail because I've already mentioned this item before in the last video guide. A great addition to upgrade your EQ5 mount, definitely worth the buy is to purchase this item. Now again on the NEQ6 Super Tune, I suggest you visit that part 6 to take a look at that video. Alright, it's a very good video and it shows you how to align and centralise this poloscope. So again, great addition for part of the super tune for your EQ5 mount. Please note, on the current Skywatcher EQ5 mount, the if you look at the tapered RA housing of your mount, if it's tapered, this will contain 
the thrush bearing and the deep groove bearing in the RA housing. However, if you own the old Skywatcher EQ5 mount, you need to look at the RA housing itself and take note if it's stepped with a, like a little ridge on the RA housing that indicates that there's no bearings in that model so please be aware take a look at the RA housing first before you order the bearings so the tools and equipment you're going to need to carry out your super tune on your EQ5 mount here as follows first off you're going to need a set of mold grips like these you're going to need some clean rags and polishing cloths a lightweight hammer a long allen keys a 5mm a 4mm a 2.5mm and a 2mm allen keys so these are the sets you're going to need then a good old toothbrush you're not going to use a cross point Phillips screwdriver usually you find these in the Skywatcher toolkit with your mount then you're going to need a 2 millimeter very thin flat tip punch the spanner is usually get this you usually get this with the Skywatcher toolkit with your mount and the spanner you're going to be using the most is the 12 millimeter open-ended spanner end then as described from my last video guides is you're going to need 1200 grit or more emery cloth or sandpaper then you're going to need a small needle file like this and now these are circlip pliers now if you don't have these alternatively you can order this now you can get this from rubber valley optics or anywhere else in the, any optical department stores or astronomy shops but this one i ordered is is set is a special tool which i can take off lenses and uh, lens cells now this has two prongs and again this can act the same way as this tool okay in the same effect so it does come with different attachments as well all right so you can change the attachments and there's different parts now this lens disassembling tool you can order this online for from rubber valley optics at a good price but i've already owned mine so you're going to require this tool and believe me this will make your life a lot easier so if you don't have this part uh, uh, if you don't have circlip pliers like this get yourself this because this can serve uh, a lot more purposes and it does have a lot more uses as we go further on in the video so order yourself a lens disassembly tool this one's set so you can take off 10 mm to 100 mm lenses all right and these lens uh, these disassembly tools are basically like a circlip retaining ring that holds the lenses and this is what this tool is designed for is to get into those retaining rings unlock them so that you can take the the lenses apart very handy as described in Rover Valley Optics, if you check out the link below, you can order this tool directly from them. The Rover Valley Optics, check out Ian's video and he does a review on this. So again, if you're interested in buying one of these, order one today. And so you're going to need some metal polish and some Loctite degreaser cleaner. If you don't have that, you can alternatively use... DVD 40 or use some isopropyl alcohol as your cleaning agents and last but not least is the Geo Optic grease pack set again 
I'm not going to describe too much in detail. This was mentioned in the NEQ6 tuning video. This has the type 1 and type 2 grease. Now these are the greases specifically designed for EQ mounts. I am quite surprised on how much grease you get with these kits. You can do a lot of um, strip downs on a lot of mounts with these. Probably about probably four or five times. So there's plenty of grease there. So there's enough grease for me to do this job and fourfold. So again check out the descriptions below to order order these parts all right the all the description for the grease the special tools and all the parts all listed below again this is a general description of all the tools and equipment you're going to need to carry out this thing so there may be changes further on in the video so last but not least i forgot to mention is make sure you use the adequate personal protection equipment so a minimum of solvent proof working gloves like these and eye protection okay stuff to protect you guys so safety glasses or goggles or solvent proof gloves like these so these are going to help you when you carry out your super tuning to protect your eyes and your hands but please I highly recommend that you wear the appropriate PPE so when you are doing this project at least you're going to be safe and you're not going to hurt yourself in the process please carry out the appropriate PPE I'm not responsible for your actions so just to remind you this this project can be quite complex and if you're a person who hasn't who has limited amount of mechanical knowledge or have limited amount of tools then I strongly advise that you do not undertake this project there are companies out there tuning companies that tune mounts up and I know a few Rover Valley Optics and like Dark Frame now Dark Frame is, a, is another mount a tuning specialist and again a lot of the work they do carry out is two years warranty so whatever they do to your mount will be covered for two years but also they'll do so much more in other words there'll be uh, specialized bearings and mechanical parts and there'll be a lot more work involved however that's really aimed up at if you want more than just what i'm doing so they do offer a lot more facilities a lot more t crucial tests and parts if you want high demands for your mount now mine is just a DIY which you can do at home with some tools and a bit of mechanical knowledge so if you're one of these people like myself who like to undertake these kind of projects purely because you're on a limited budget and you just want to uh, get to know your mount a lot more and you want to improve on it then Feel free and undertake this project because in the long run if you do and you do it right by following this video guide then you're going to save a lot of money in the process. So again that's my top tip. So at the moment I have seen a few videos on YouTube that shows a, a possible build modification but I've seen a few that doesn't seem to run very well. Personally, the gear drives themselves, even though they're spur gears, they do provide the torque and the, to be honest with you, there's hardly any backlash on those gears. They actually are better gears than they are compared to the NEQ6 mount, which there was loads of free play between the gears. These, however, are not that bad. However, I will be looking into modifying it in a later stage for a possible belt modification now it's something that i would i'm gonna might i might actually inform rowan themselves and ask them see if they can look into a possible belt modification for the eq5 mount so at the moment it's still early days with that particular of, um, tuning so I will let you know as soon as possible, if that's possible. 
So again, if you like my video, please hit the like button. Also subscribe onto my channel, activate the bell, the notifications at the bottom there. All that's going to do is keep you in tune for the next videos, particularly this series for the EQ5. Alright, so when the new video comes out, you get notified so that you do not miss out. We're also available for the Facebook group, Astronomy for Beginners. Please join that group, alright. There's a lot of experienced amateur astronomers and astrophotographers. And for the newcomers or the beginners who are just starting out astronomy, please join that group. There's a lot of valuable information there that will help you out. So, again, please look forward to part two in super tuning the EQ5 mount. So, again, thanks for watching, and I wish you all clear skies.